for I have known them all already. Known the evenings, mornings, afternoons. I have measured out my life with coffee spoons. And I know the voices dying with a dying fall beneath the music in a farther room. How should I presume? And I have known the eyes already, known them all. The eyes that are, the eyes that fix you with a formulated phrase. And when I'm formulated, sprawling on a pin, and when I'm pinned and wriggling on the wall, then how, how shall I begin to spit out all the buttons of my days and ways? How should I then presume? And I have known the arms already, known them all, arms that are braceleted and white and bare, but in the lamplight, downed with light brown hair. Is it perfume from your dress that makes me so digress? Arms that lie along a table or spread about a shawl. And should I then presume? And how shall I begin? Shall I say, I have gone at dusk through narrow streets and watched the smoke that rises from the pipes of lonely men in shirt sleeves, leaning out of windows? Oh, I should have been a pair of ragged claws scuttling across the floors of silent seas. Oh, the afternoon, the evening sleeps so peacefully, smoothed by long fingers, asleep, tired, or it malingers, stretched on the floor here beside you and me. Should I, after tea and cake and ices, have the strength to force the moment to its crisis? Though I have wept and fasted, wept and prayed, though I have seen my head grown slightly bald, brought in upon a platter, I am no prophet, and here's no great matter. I have seen the moment of my greatness flicker, and I have seen the eternal footman hold my coat and snicker, and in short, I was afraid. And would it have been worth it after all, after the cups the marmalade and tea, among the porcelain, among some talk of you and me? Would it have been worthwhile to have bitten off the matter with a smile? To have squeezed the universe into a ball to roll towards some overwhelming question? To say, I am Lazarus, come from the dead, come back to tell you all. I shall tell you all. If one settling a pillow by her head should say, That's not what I meant at all. That is not it at all. And would it have been worth it after all? Would it have been worthwhile after the sunsets, the dooryards, and the sprinkled streets, after the novels, after the teacups, and the skirts that trail along the floor, and this? And so much more. Oh, it is impossible to say just what I mean. But as if a magic lantern threw the nerves in patterns on a screen, would it have been worthwhile if one 
settling a pillow or throwing off a shawl and turning toward the window should say, That it is, that's not it at all. That's not what I meant at all. No. I am not Prince Hamlet, <laughs> nor was meant to be. I'm an attendant lord, one who will do to swell a progress, start a scene or two, advise the prince, no doubt an easy tool, deferential, glad to be of use, politic, cautious, full of high sentence, but a bit of truth, almost at times ridiculous. Almost at times the fool. I grow old. <laughs> I grow old. I shouldn't wear the bottoms of my trousers rolled. Shall I part my hair behind? Do I dare eat a peach? I shall wear white flannel trousers and walk upon the beach. I have heard the mermaids singing, each to each. I do not think that they will sing to me. I've seen them riding seaward on the waves, combing in the white hair of the waves blown back when the wind blows the water white and black. <sighs> We have lingered in the chambers of the sea by sea girls wrapped with seaweed, red and brown, till human voices wake us and we drown. Thank you.